Hey guys, today I wanted to share some of my favorite podcasts because one of my absolute all-time favorites recently celebrated their second anniversary. Um, I don't know how soon this will go up. It'll probably be pretty quickly after you're filming it because it's just like sitting down and talking. But it's Moms and Murder and they are my favorite true crime podcast. It's hosted by two moms. So yesterday, the 20th of July, was their second anniversary and I tweeted about it and I posted about it on my story. So I hope that some of you guys saw that because I was really excited. They did a Facebook live stream of them playing, what was that? It's like what do you meme? It's this meme card game. I played it as an intern with NBC and I actually won the round that I played so that was fun to see them play it and to see like what they had to say about different things. There was something about shoes. It was funny. I will jump right into talking about some of my favorite podcasts. The thing that got me into podcasts was actually having to drive from Fullerton near Cal State Fullerton because that's where I went to school to Universal City where my internship was from NBC because that drive is kind of long. I mean, I would wake up at 4.30, 4.45-ish and then leave by 6.24 because it was, I mean, traffic was insane. So. On mornings if I didn't leave by 624 like every 10 minutes I left late you could add another 20 minutes of traffic so I would just leave super early to get there super early but that drive is what got me into podcasts all right as I mentioned moms and murder is my current favorite podcast they are so freaking funny and I feel like it's this dry but also really good sense of humor so the tweet that they quote tweeted it says happy two year anniversary to the little show that could but probably shouldn't thank you all for a great two years and thanks carly jean allen for this little gem from our live video today and this is the tweet it was i think it's so cute um so i had just basically tweeted them a video that i had taken of their live stream from facebook but it was a whole thing and I definitely picked up that expression from Melissa because she says it was a whole thing all the time and I just think it's funny because self, slightly self-deprecating humor is just the greatest and I feel like there's a lot of that that goes on. Alright, so getting into the real reasons I like their podcast anyway, enough about the live stream, but I really like that they are funny about serious topics. I know obviously true crime is serious but I will seriously be laughing at some of the things at like death o'clock in the morning and I think it's a great way to be aware of things that happen but also keeping it light and not you know too too serious it is a podcast so like I think that even though they say don't come to us for your facts I think a lot of the research and time and writing that goes into their show is really great and bringing you know that sense of humor in it just makes me want to keep listening to it and it's uploaded every tuesday and i listen every single week and it is so funny and the last thing i like about it which is kind of silly is that melissa really likes diet coke and mandy is super into animals because i like both of those things so i just wanted to share that those are two things from the show that i think are funny i really wanted to go to crime con and meet them but the timing just didn't work out but hopefully in the future i will get to go to crime con and we'll get to talk about diet coke and chickens the whole time Okay, one of the first true crime podcasts that I listened to was Crime Junkie, and I really, really like this show, but it's not as funny, and I know that's not their thing, but it like I like the humor aspect of Moms and Murder, so that's why it, it went above Crime Junkie for me, but I really do enjoy Crime Junkie. I think that Ashley is a great storyteller and I love her relationship with Brittany and I think it's really it's a really good show if you really want to hear like just the story because that's the thing that I liked about it is that it like doesn't really go into anything else it's like this is what happened here it is da 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 like boom it's done because some other shows I've tried to get into some of the more like popular crime podcasts I'm not gonna like name drop them but there's just so 
much talking. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. There's just, it's not that I don't like listening to people laugh, but there was so much just like rambling about nothing and like cackling that it's just not something I want to listen to if I don't have to be around it. It just kind of sounded like you were out and about and there was a group of some really annoying people together and it's just like, it's a lot. I would skip through shows of like these other ones and I, I just, I couldn't get around like the talking about nothing and all of that kind of stuff. So that's what I like about Crime Junkie is that it's very just like precise and to the point. I also think that Crime Junkie does a really good job of picking cases. Um, I know that a lot of the podcasts I listen to don't cover all the same cases, but I really do like their style and how they choose their cases. All right, my next favorite podcast is Cold. This talks about the story of the Susan Powell murder. It's a whole podcast just centered around one murder and not like a bunch. So Cold just dives really deep into everything that happened within the case and it focuses just on this one event. So I really liked getting to follow it each week and getting to hear about like new things from the story and it goes really in depth and then you get like invested into what's happening in it. So I would definitely recommend that one if you're looking for kind of like something not slower but like it's one it's one case so it's not going to be something new every single week if you like consistency. The next one that I listen to is Serial Killers and this one has a really good variety of cases. Like I said, Crime Junkie does a really good variety, but so does Serial Killer and it's just a different way of listening to, you know, murder. Serial Killers is good if you really just want to hear a story. Um, I don't go to that for like humor or anything like that if I'm just like, okay, I know that this drive home is going to kill me. I just, I want to listen to something and I want to only think about that. The last true crime one that I have to recommend is Man in the Window. And this one I found through one of my favorite YouTubers, Irina the Beauty Vault. She posted a screenshot of Man in the Window and it is all about the Golden State Killer. So I actually am just in the very beginning stages of listening to that one because the rest I feel like I have kind of gotten through like a good amount, but I've just started this one, but I really like it. So I'm going to keep listening to it. I think podcasts that highlight like one infamous event are really interesting because it's like a different way of listening to something rather than hearing something new every single week. Those are all of my true crime podcast recommendations. And just to go through the list again, there's Moms and Murder, Crime Junkie, Cold, Serial Killers, and Man in the Window. So those are my top five crime recommendations if you want to check that out. Also, as a side note, I think it'd be really great if BuzzFeed Unsolved would start doing their, sh like, in addition to their show, not instead of, but, like, start doing a murder podcast because I feel like I listen to them a lot when I, like, I'll put the videos on in my room when I'm doing nothing or just, like, folding laundry or whatever, and I'll just, like, listen to the cases, and I understand they go places and whatever, but I think it'd be really cool if they did a podcast to go with the show. At Shane and Ryan, if you want to start that anytime soon go for it. I would listen and I feel like a lot of other people would as well. My last recommendation for podcasts if you're not into true crime is Ear Biscuits and that is hosted by Brett and Link of Good Mythical Morning. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have at least heard of Good Mythical Morning. Okay, so Good Mythical Morning has 15,606,886 subscribers and they have something like 2.2 thousand videos. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them, but Ear Biscuits is their podcast and also they upload it as a video too, but it's them sitting at this table and there's like mics and whatever and it's basically just a video version of podcast, but I really like their podcast. I think they are hilarious and they definitely get some pretty good laughs out of me. I think they're really funny and I know other people think they're really funny. So if you want to listen to something that's not doom and gloom and murder, I would definitely check them out. If anyone of you guys has any podcast recommendations, leave it in the comments below because I'm always looking for a new podcast to start and I do prefer true crime just because I think it's super fascinating but thank you for watching today's video check me out on all my socials linked below and I'll see you next time bye